Hey there, this is Infinity, and welcome to part two of the Leo full moon. This is for water signs. Our Leo full moon is January 28th, 2021. Today it is the 25th. I did the, uh, the fire signs on the 20th is the day that I was guided to do that. And then we had this long break five days before I was guided to do this video. So this is part two again for the Leo full moon for water signs. So Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, you're the focal point of this reading. This is for the light body collective. So if you consider yourself an empath, a light worker, a healer, a psychic, um, somebody that is of the light of helping people and using your life force to help others and 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 put out positive energy into the world you are a light worker so this would pertain to you and so what we're going to do is first work with the uh, wild unknown deck you may be familiar with this it is definitely a popular deck it's actually uh, the first deck I ever started uh, working with with tarot. Uh, and I am just going to do a quick clearing here with the cards. I like using my Sage and Palo Santo. And I just keep them in this bowl. And I do this several times a day just throughout the day. I was guided a couple of months ago to start doing this with my cards. And so, it just removes any of my energy or energy from the past reading that I did and gets them ready to go. So, if you, didn't watch the the first part which is the fire the fire signs there's about 30 minutes i go into what's going on cosmically and for light workers energy coming through um, between that day the 20th and then going into the full moon on the 28th and then beyond it into the Stargate on 2-2-2021. Two, two, um, so please watch that to get the full grasp of what we're doing here with these energies, um, with the messages coming through for these energies. And the reason why these are broken up um, into the elements, fire, water, earth, and air, is because that set, those sets of of people are going to have the same type of thematic energies and what they're being asked to to deal with and accomplish with this full moon and with and with just the energies that that started on the 20th oops, so we got our first card let's see what it is it is the four of pentacles four of pentacles i'm really digging it um already feeling stuff this is a really meaningful card uh and just the imagery here with this i really connect to it always reminds me of angelics it's the four of pentacles it's abundance it's um also like ascended masters being open healers that kind of thing this there's um even though pentacles is a um, an earth, uh, like ruled under the earth um, and everything. There's this really beautiful blue flowy thing happening here um, with this card. So our first card, Four of Pentacles. So anyhow, please watch that fire video. Um, and even if you're not a fire sign, even if the even if the it's not like your sun or your moon or your ascendant sign um, or sending sign, that's so that's beside the point. You have the fire element 
in your birth chart, in your makeup somewhere. Um, same thing with all of the elements. We, we have all of that going on. And the way that this is being drawn up and the way that I'm going to be doing these readings uh, this year with the new moon and the full moon is going by groupings of the elements. And it's because those people are being asked or going to be going through this through and dealing with similar type energies and these messages are to help help each element kind of understand that however because we have the different elements in us and because we we know different people with the with the different zodiac signs you know separated out the way that they are with the elements um, it helps everybody to understand, oh, this is what the fire signs are, are, are dealing with and who's a fire sign in my life. Okay, let's, let's, let's give them this energy or, or send them help for this type of, you know, thematic energy that the fire signs are dealing with. And, and it's just to understand how each, you see me doing this, how each side of the boat of all of us, fire, water, earth, and air, we're all trying to go forward together. But if you picture us in a boat, in a canoe, and there's the fire, the water, the earth, and the air people, and each one is dealing and handling a certain aspect of ascension more than other things right now. So there could be certain signs it's the, and we're going to find out what that is. For the fire signs, it was um, really working on balancing out the masculine and the divine masculine and divine feminine and, and um, and, tra and transforming some uh, immature type egoistic uh, personality things into a more peaceful place. And there's a lot there. Please watch that. It's really, really awesome. So anyway, each one of these is going to have its own thing. So please watch that before you get into this one, or at least watch the explanation of everything and for this time period. So it's a big energy update and explanation. And then we get into the reading. Okay. Now we've got our four of pentacles. Let's see what is next. I'm feeling this one right here. We have the wheel of fortune. Isn't it awesome? Let's see. Here we go. Oops. There. So a lot going on here. We have the sun and the moon and this awesome owl representing wisdom and just having this higher perspective. Um, all that ribbon representing uh, just being open, I'm seeing this really showing us openness. Um, oh, my third eye has been making my entire head very itchy. <laughs> it's like pulsating and like vibrating and I'm just like itching my head like crazy. Oh, there's a card. The tower. Look at this water signs the tower. So things changing, deconstructing of, of, of some circumstances or energies. Water signs. Oops, let's see. Okay. Got a bunch of cards that just popped out and landed here. Interesting. Okay, next we have the sun. The sun right after the tower. And next we have the sun of swords. 
and we actually got the Son of Swords in that fire one too. And we also got the Son of Wands in that fire one too. They're coming out and the sun, but they're coming out in a different order. Next, we have the Four of Swords. Because trust me, I was like, uh, is this right? It's definitely right. We also have the Son of Pentacles. So, let me show you what we have here. Four of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, the Sun, Son of Swords, Son of Wands, the Four of Swords in Reverse, and Son of Pentacles. Okay, so. I'm told, let's keep going before I start pulling things apart here. It is very interesting to get those, the sun, <laughs> sun, sun, sun. After the tower, we have the sun, the sun of swords, sun of pentacles. Four of swords, sun, or sorry, jeez. <laughs> Son of Swords, Son of Wands, I said Pentacles, Son of Wands, Four of Swords, Son of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting. Oh, look at this. The Death Card. The Death Card right after our Son of Pentacles. Very, very, got another flip. Three of Wands. I'm really loving this Three of Wands after this death card, you guys. Big time, big time, big time, big time. Okay. Next, we have the Daughter of Pentacles. After that, Three of Wands. Then we have the Ten of Cups. Awesome energy. The Emperor. Oh, look at this. Card number four in the Major Arcana, the Emperor. We had the Empress in the Fire Signs. We had the Nine of Cups in the Fire Signs. And here we have the Five of Swords. Uh, for our last card here. Okay. Okay, so, uh, itchy. So here we go. We have, um, when that last bunch fell, um, there was all those, these last, the Daughter of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, and the Five of Swords all came up face up. 
rounding us off with our 12 cards. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, sorry. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, sorry, 14 cards. And we had one upside down, not showing me the back here. So I'm like, is that part of it? What are we doing? So that's why I was silent there for a minute asking. The answer is it is part of it and it's gonna go at the end. And that's the father of wands. Father of wands. Here at the end. Kind of like a clarifier for this five of swords is this father of wands. Okay, so let's take a minute here. Let's take a minute here to analyze. Okay, so these three cards right next to each other, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, and the Sun. Boom. So Wheel of Fortune, this is really talking about um, I'm really feeling this is like a completion thing, um, because we have this tower, so it's time to like next level up, change things. And what I'm really feeling is this, this could have a lot to do with something very suddenly happening to shift understanding, perspective. And I'm feeling this on both sides here. Um, internally and externally. So this could be epiphany about um, your purpose, your some past life stuff, some um, understanding of yourself on a spiritual level, uh, just getting like that, yeah, that huge, big, big shift. Now that was, that's just kind of the theme for stuff is, is the big shift. But this is about like, it's time to move on. Like it's time to change frequency and atmosphere, geography could be, um, I'm really feeling this more about a physical movement. Um, like physically moving your your home, or maybe you already have in the last six months, let's say, probably not more than that. And you've been waiting for the for it to feel like home. So that's coming. It's going to feel more like like home. Um, or you're going to feel like on the flip side is this isn't home anymore. It's time to move on. So both of these things, because again, we have this, like, we've done this full circle situation. We've gone all around with this, with this cycle, with the, with the, with the past cycle, it's complete, which really makes sense with it being the end of January going into February with this full moon, but not only about that, 
beyond that or before that, I should say, with 2020, the completion of 2020 and us just feeling into that here in 2021. And so we have this wheel of fortune to say, okay, you've gone as far as you can go with the current energies. We're cycling through other new energies. So it's kind of like turning things over the tower representing deconstruction change. Um, but it definitely having this, it's, it's an, it's a, it's divinely guided. It's like, this is time. Like whether you wake up one day, you have an epiphany or it's a slow thing you knew was going to happen. And then the day comes and you have this understanding overwhelming sense of yes it's definitely this is the thing this is the time um and there isn't a whole lot of should i shouldn't i even if it's complicated even if there's a lot to get into place ahead of time um or you had to get into place a lot of things ahead of time it was like yes this is definitely it this is this has been in the making or you know that sort of thing now with that we have a separation in close friends and family so these two sons representing who you're close to what you know who is in your life uh yeah your close friends your family it could be your children um could be partners, could be uh, romantic, definitely. Like you're just, it's time to separate, okay? Time to separate. They're going in different directions. They have different points of view. They're looking in two completely different places going forward, right? Very different here. And that's okay. This is meant to happen. This separation is meant to happen. It's part of the whole, everything's going to change. Everything's going to shift and be very, very different, but very positive, very abundant. Let's not forget, we have this support for this transition in our lives. Started this way, started with that four of pentacles. Then we have the four of, whoopsie, the four of swords. Now let's see it right side up. There is right side up. But it's in reverse for us, you guys, the water signs. So we're in reverse. And what I'm hearing and feeling here is that we're we're like floating on water. Let's pretend all these swords are stuck in the bottom of the of the ocean and and we're just floating on top. We're just floating on top. So the nature of the water is going to keep us floating on top of this drama and this chaos and things that can hurt us down here. Even as we're moving swiftly, swift movement, lots of, of current of energy coming through. And it's interesting because right now I was talking with one of my clients. She's in my extended Evolve Now program and, and we we're talking about the current energies and what's happening. And it's like, we're on this upward incline where it takes more effort to go forward. We are more tired. There's a lot more incoming for us to process and filter through. And it's very important to get into our bodies. Um, and And this energy here, um, this here, 
Now let's look at the lamb with that sun right at his third eye. I love that expression too that he has on his face because he's just like, oh, tell me more. <laughs> yeah, he looks so enthralled and so intrigued and so like he doesn't even notice any of this craziness above him that could fall on him, right? because he's so up into his third eye and connecting that there really isn't an option to be in fear. But we got this in reverse. And I'm being shown we, our top row of cards is bookended by the four of pentacles and the four of swords. So, and both of these are very spiritual, very um, connected to guides and very into receiving of information. So those of you water signs that are psychic, expect for more of that is what I'm hearing. Ex ex expect for more of the incoming, even passively when you're not really even trying. Um, and I'm also hearing here with this separation, with whatever's going on with the people that you're gonna need to separate from or the people that you have separated from in these last several months. And definitely um, it could like, again, could be friends, family, um, influential coworkers or mentors or educators or um, romantic relationships and partnerships, business partnerships. I mean, you name it. Um, this is a this is representing powerful, influential forces. You being either one of these, um, this dynamic, and again, we're having it <laughs> with the suns, and again with the sun. So there's a lot of this dynamic male divine masculine energy going on but this is about stepping into the power of the divine masculine to say i know where i need to go i know where i need to be it's movement it's it's it, it's it's excited um movement but with a sense of like just not being like not, not that you're not upset about people leaving or you leaving or, or things shifting in that way or that you don't miss people the way things were and you're not gonna be nostalgic or melancholy about certain things, maybe from your past or the people in your past, you know, that sort of thing. Just like there will be that, but it's more about like that was then we're going into the future and I'm just going to float through any of the, the normal chaotic um, energies that can happen or you can get, you know, tossed up in or that can get you in fear of separating and, and moving on. So just please know that there's a lot of incoming energies to just soften up and massage through the transitions that are happening for you water signs. And I can really understand this because it's like things need to move. And water signs are, it's, a, it's that it's an easy sign to, to, to move. And even though water signs can definitely be emotional, um, they're also very psychic and they move when they're guided to. So, so for the other signs, I kind of feel like, oh, I feel a move coming um, and you're not a water sign. And again, this can be for, for your rising, your, sorry, for your sun sign, moon sign, um, or ascendant sign. So if this is really resonating with you, it doesn't have to be your sun sign. It can be any of them. Um, but if you're if it's if it's not feeling like that's more coming up closer, or if it doesn't, 
this is the kind of thing that I'm talking about, like all the different parts of the boat doing their thing to move us forward, because most likely everybody's going to be moving at some point here in the next 18 months, shifting their geography, coming more into connection with others, partnerships forming and things just developing the way they should. Those of us at the light body um, with our different frequency needing to move the the enter the light worker net around Gaia as time goes and that's really picking up the pace starting in this new um century so um and decade so okay after the the four of swords we have the son of pentacles and um kind of back on track here and and then we have the the death card so i'm seeing here like processing through what was and being in that middle introspective like before things move forward again because there's always that settling in time so again you could have already moved water sign water sign could have already moved this energy could have already been in place or it's just now forming it's coming into that um but there's always a settling in time and for different people it's a different amount of time and energies and everything that's going on so if it's felt like yeah this is home but it's you know it's not perfect or it doesn't feel so homey yet even though i've got stuff going on here it's just a, a process um it's just a process and it's still uh here in the northern hemisphere it is winter so things slow down as far as things moving around shifting into play so we're getting introspective we know we have new beginnings and there's this three of wands with all of this energy there in the center so this is telling me this is it's going to be about and this is a very important part here this is about once this move happens or if you've already moved this is about working on getting into your ground grounding grounding your energy into Gaia where you are now or your new place when you get there. And maybe this is just a work thing. Maybe this is an actual you're moving your home. This could be that you just start going someplace so much more because you've connected, you've you've broken, there's been a big shift in things. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be you've moved your residence you're going to move your residence and that's what this full moon energy is it, this could also be a foretelling that this is something that's going to happen in the next couple months because this is this is kind of the over overarching arching um i always have a hard time with that word. uh theme of what's happening kind of over the year but especially you know things really solidifying now and when i'm seeing this right next to this so sorry i'm like this so our death card and then the three of 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 wands here it's tying together is what I'm really hearing with this, like see this as like in you. Tying together. So like this, this wand is your shoulders, like literally your body, your legs here. So this is your, your whole abdomen, shoulders, see that? 
So what I'm hearing here is, is this new beginning. And if there's a couple of them, think about doing this for all your new beginnings that, that's going on. Could be work, could be new places you're going, a new relationship, a new home, a new place you're working out or training or whatever. If it's a new place consistently in your life, or you're thinking about moving to a new place consistently in your life, new people, new atmosphere, new energy, okay? You're taking your body and your energy to this new place. So let's ground in that with you in this new place. Like I said, if it's more than just one place, that's okay, do this for all of these places. Really think about, and I'm even feeling it here, really think about this energy after this new beginning, after this death card representing changes, new beginnings, endings and beginnings, obviously. Um, we have next to the three of wands, the daughter of pentacles. And this is a, this is when it's like whole new cycle really starts because she is on all, on all four feet. She has, she's looking forward. She's paying attention. She's got that rainbow light energy right above her and that pentacle. She's the daughter of pentacles. Um, again, I'm feeling this uptick in connection to your, to your guides and, um, just awareness, just overall heightened sensitivity and awareness to your surroundings, to the energies around you, to paying attention to things like the moon and, and what's going on in, in the cosmos, that sort of thing. And then this next little chunk of cards here with this 10 of cups. So let's talk about a lot of water. Like, wow, we have none. And then we have 10 of cups. So there's a lot of preparation, understanding, getting things right, coming into body, thinking about, you know, how you're paying attention to stuff in, in your new world, and then boom, there it is. <laughs> it's really what this feels like is like we have, it's, it's like it's going to line up, it's going to line up with a Stargate, probably not, not the February Stargate, but, um, and the 10 doesn't necessarily, you know, I'm kind of seeing this in two ways. This is an ongoing, this is like the rest of the year. Really interesting, the rest of the year. And, and then the whole here of what is to come but also representing a, a real push in energy, but very much comfortable, very much, you know, ready for and all of that sort, you just ready for the surge in energy because next we have the emperor. So, It's going to be this stability coming in. 
more balanced with that divine feminine and masculine. Um, Then we have, I could just, I'm I, sorry to stall here, but these three cards. So the emperor, five of, of swords here. And then that father of wands being that last card, that bonus to the clarification of this five of swords. So really feeling like definitely a person coming through um on a different level or people could be more than one person but definitely one person if not more than one person or one person connected to more than one person <laughs> that's connected to a group of people or a company or some type of of um leader that 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 is in a bigger group that comes through and really kind of opens stuff up and then i need some tea as i think So this energy um, of this emperor type person, and I'm hearing it doesn't even need to be, there could be a precursor, a placeholder is what we kind of call them, where it's, it, it could even be somebody you find online. Um, and maybe they become somebody you work with, but maybe they're just somebody that you you study, you read their books or their articles, you watch their videos, you do their meditations, whatever, and they're just somebody um, in your life, but not in your life. That could be that sort of thing too. But either way, this person will definitely be influential, will help you balance with that, with the male and the, and the female energies, um, is really going to help cultivate that whole new psychic awareness thing going on and through a transition, whatever the transitions are, this movement happening or that could have already happened um that you're still settling into and really separating out continuing to help you separate out your past from your present and your future because that doesn't just boom happen it takes a while to go from your old life to your new life from a new workplace to a you know old to new workplace or new friends or new neighbors and a new town or any of these, the newness that is on the horizon and has already happened, it still takes time to separate, right? To separate the, the past from the current and the future and to, to help, to have somebody really help you, um, 
to really help you in your transition in not only just physically but spiritually and level up and there's this leveling up whoopsie with this uh the father of wands or the king of wands uh And, and that he definitely represents that connected psychic uh, healer person. Uh, and, and somebody that is also really connected to others um, as well. Okay, so What we're going to do now is get some clarification on what we already have. So just take a look for now what we have here. Whoopsie, let me. <laughs> there. So go out here so we can see the whole. So that Wheel of Fortune with the tower and the sun. This is a lot of intense energy to start this off with. Remember separation, and what, this watery, I know it's four swords, but I'm feeling this like floating right by anything that might hold you back or stop you from this transition. And then, um, just taking some time, settling through stuff and, and going through this whole newness period. And these very, a very specific kind of push through to really help settle things in. And then again, this, this is just telling you once you're there, it's just going to be bigger, brighter, better every single month coming forward. But somewhere in here, sooner than later, I'm feeling this emperor type person coming in, in one way, shape or form. And really, really helping with the forward movement, the transition, even going, going further than that. So that's all really, really great. Really, 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 really great. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm um, just going to do the same thing here with these cards real quick. Let's get some of that smoke. Clear our cards. And another thing I'm hearing here is with whatever movement, what, whatever transition this is, um, either that you're in the middle of or, or have done in the, either in the either beginning to think about it's starting like to take form or you've already done it. Um, Things have already started someplace in the last month or two, or you move someplace or, or something to that effect. It's just, it, there's just some time that, that needs to, to take place, just some time. Um, and that's happening. Just, it's a transitional period. Have patience. The people that you are meant to be with and know and share time with and all that good stuff are coming. You're, you're, the, the lines are getting closer together, so to speak. Okay, so let's see about clarifying some cards here. Uh, 
I would like, I'm feeling this tower. So let's get a little bit more information with our angel tarot for that tower. It's right between the wheel of fortune and the sun. So this is just so intense, so big, but so divinely guided and so supported. What do we have here? Six of, <laughs> that's funny. Six of earth. So six of pentacles. And just a little blurb here says gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. Well, that's perfect here. We have that wheel of fortune. So this is, this is this tower, this change, this deconstruction and reconstruction type of situation really is so abundant in its nature that I think that just the possibilities for, for what's to come is just really, really monumental. Remember, we have the sun right there. So that there's that. So that is a beautiful clarifier for that tower. It's just showing a real shift in, in resources, opportunities, um, that sort of thing. And you've been guided to this. It might feel like, oh my God, this just happened out of the blue but it didn't. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. You've been, you've been guided down this path in multiple ways for a while. And that is showing. Okay. Let's get some clarification on this death card. That's what I'm feeling next with this death card. Let's see what we got. Lovely water signs and whoever else this may be resonating with. Remember, there's all the elements, and all the planets, and all the good stuff in all of your charts. So, or yeah, I need it. okay, here we go. Cool. Very interesting. Six of water. So, we just got the six of earth to clarify the tower. And now we're getting the six of water to clarify the death card. So the little blurb here says memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romant romanticizing the past. And what do we say here? This is a trans transitional period where we're going to have to just let things settle let the vibes, let your energy settle into this new place, metaphorically, physically, career-wise, people-wise, whatever. There's a transitional period between being here, leaving here, moving here, settling in here, you know, grounding here and having things, you know, do their, having, you know, time to do their things. So all of that really, it could bring up even more stuff to to get to get past with this death card in this new beginning this is clarifying that so it's saying look we may have to um we may have to deal with some healing of our past and and in order to to get things really going so maybe the first part is moving into this new place and then it's like this is what i needed to really get over some stuff to heal my body to heal my energy to to start a, you know doing yoga again or working with that healer or shaman or or getting into educating myself in a certain way that's going to help me, whatever. Um, I'm really feeling I'm zero. I keep zeroing in on, on, on history and the children thing or the child thing. Definitely. This could be bringing up some stuff about childhood or family, um, needing to disconnect, disconnect from, and do some cord cutting from people in your past and history that is definitely coming through right now before you can be in this in this space 
and really allow for that grounding to take place just more free and more clear. And I have a new ebook on my website um, for cord cutting all about it. It's called the importance of cord cutting. And I'm keep seeing that right now. So if this is resonating with you, and even if it's not, it's really good to know about cord cutting. Um, very important as you're moving forward in your world, in your life with your ascension and life purpose and all that good stuff. It's essential, absolutely essential. And so I'm, I'm really kind of feeling that with this death card supported by those six of water. Um, talking about memories and history, memories from your memories from your history or childhood issues regarding children. So also here, I'm feeling that there could be something something where it's been maybe possibly out of balance with children, um, your children, or when you were a child, or uh, not having a lot of memories from your childhood even, or there being traumatic events from your childhood that you know that are still really affecting you and and this also could be just not that representing this stasis kind of not necessarily moving forward just waiting to move forward that sort of thing um so that is going to definitely be a part of it and just know that that's coming for you to to work on to help with the collective with this um with this whole thing and remember, you're a water sign, so uh, this is going to clarify the Ten of Cups before I could even say it. It's out, and we have the Ace of Fire. So the Ace of Fire, the Ace of, of Wands here, clarifying that Ten of Cups. And again here, a new exciting um, opportunity, career advancements, change your life now. So that is that is clarifying your, your 10 of cups. So electric and change, but water, the water of that 10 of cups is so abundant. It's so free flowing and so psychic and so intuitive that again, we have like, multi-layered opportunities here. We have the six of the six of earth up here clarifying the tower, new career opportunities. Here we have this ace of fire, new career opportunities. So, um, or new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. So again, <laughs> this is definitely about a big change or a change is coming in your life. Very abundant, very psychic, very oh, epiphany. Very, oh my goodness, things are gonna change. Or they already have and they just haven't quite like turned over, you know, that that transitional period between um, you know, this and this. It could be we're right here right now. Very much, very much could be we're right here. Or we're just like clickety click, we're just a few more clicks over to the sun. Remember, we need we're we're here kind of nighttime being guided by our, our, our guides and guardians here, our ascended masters to next in line, have this big deconstruction, reconstruction. That's what the tower is all about. It's about changing atmosphere, changes in the way things are done and how you perceive your day to day. That's just what the tower represents. Things are going to change your perspective, your, your, where you're at, who you're around, what you, you know, just all sorts of stuff. Um, and then we have the sun, right? So that sun right after that tower, really driving home that even though there's a shakeup, it's all, you know, and any kind of big movement is going to be 
a little chaotic, a little stressful. Don't let, I'm hearing, don't let the swiftness of things carry you away before you can get your feet on the ground and have a um, have a kind of your bearings like your compass right about what's happening so so even though it feels like swift swift swift, swift it is it, you can slow it down you have the power to kind of slow things down acclimate accordingly um Again, a lot of male dominant energy here, a lot of swift action movement, a lot of change coming. We have this double sixes, uh, these double sixes with the earth and the water, very, a lot of growth happening there. Mix earth and water, what do you get? Something's gonna grow. <laughs> and it's a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and that ace of fire, oh my goodness. I'm loving this so much. This is really, really exciting. Very exciting um, energy. And I'm hearing and feeling that with what we got and understand with the fire sign supporting that aspect of this type of change and movement, so dynamic because they are tied together. Remember, they're tied together. What what each sign is working on, and we're all we're all certain aspects of the same big machine, so so it all is a part of the that energy going forward. Okay, moving on, you guys, to um, I'm feeling the Angels of Abundance Oracle. And once again, just want to put some smoke on it. I'm just going to have a little bit of smoke here. Okay. There we go. So Angels of Abundance. Oracle. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Very cool. Detox your friendships. Well, look at that. We were told we're going to do some separation here, or it's already happened. Maybe we just need to process this through, but detox your friendships. I'm going to go ahead and read this now. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring. Remember, we're looking for this dude. <laughs> looking for the emperor to show up and inspire us. So if we're, if we're you know, around those that are draining us or keeping us away from that, it's going to be hard to see him. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. So there you go. First card, really supporting what we're what we're saying here. So don't. I'm hearing, don't allow yourself to feel bad because you're understanding. I'm hearing finally, for some of you, you're understanding finally that in order for you to move forward, you most definitely have to separate from some people in your life. And they could be long time friends. They could be spouses. They could, it could be a job that you've been going to for 30 years. It could be um, your own family that you really, really need to separate from because they take up such a big part of your life that you're unable to focus on you. And just like it says, your abundance flow is being affected by people with whom you're, you spend your time, who are in your life very big deal. Again, going back to cutting cords, I'm hearing. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. This is a big theme for you guys, water signs. And water signs are your psychic. You're like so empathic, so connected to others and feel so much and it's hard to separate. So you really are being empowered here. Please listen to this. Know what you got to do here when it comes to 
um, this 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 plan here of what's what's going forward. Oh, next. It is safe for you to receive. Yes, it is safe for you to receive because there's going to be the need to receive. Okay, for for water signs, the need to receive is definitely happening. So the more you allow yourself to receive, the more research resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. Here, 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 look it. She has so much to give, so much to give, so many, so many around her. So happy and blissful and abundant, this angel. So, it is safe for you to receive and you deserve it and it's meant for you and allow for it to come. Don't, don't stop it. Don't say it's not, you know, this is wrong or how could this be or, you know, any of the, anything like that, just do me a favor, lay down tonight, open up your arms, tell your guides to bring it, bring everything you're ready and open to receive and just let it happen. Let it come in, let it flow. It's meant for you. It has to happen in order for all this good stuff to happen. You need to receive. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. Okay. Next hearing we're done with those cards. We're going to get into the Archangel Oracle. Okay. Archangel Oracle, and then we shall be done. Your lovely water signs. Oh. Moon cycles. Again, this is the uh, reading for the Leo full moon. So please, they're saying, please, please, please water signs. If you've been casual about your moon observation, the moon phases, learning about how this is important, especially if you're a female and you are still ovulating and having periods. Um, it's really, really good to pay attention to when your cycle is and how it lines up with the full or the new moon, how it change, how it's changing and transitioning, all of those things. So Archangel Haniel says, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon those cycles. So most definitely with the moon and the energies, the difference between new moon and full moon and what, what that means and how your energy feels. And as far as, um, you know, any meditations or rituals and, and, um, manifest things that you want to bring in and manifest, um, and what your, what your hopes and desires are, are, um, ties into the, of course, again, the energy around you, but but with the moon cycle, there's just so much. I love this card so much. So beautiful. Moon cycles with Hanny. Isn't she so beautiful? It's just such a beautiful card. I love it. Those three doves and uh, just her energy is just telling you, pay attention to the moon and the moon cycles and what that means and research, research some, you know, metaphysics and the moon and get the moon app. I use the moon app and I absolutely love it. it. Tells you what's going on with the moon every single day, the symbols, the energy, even meditations and stuff like that. You can look at all the, the numbers on there. And I post that frequent, frequently on my Instagram. So anyway, moon cycles, you guys pay attention to the moon and you know how the moon moves the currents and the water. So I'm seeing this really with you guys, with the, with us, I'm a, I'm a water sign. My moon sign is a water sign is Pisces. So, so we're really affected by the gravity of the moon and our emotions and our energy for sure. I definitely am big time. 
Um, we all are, we all are, but you'll notice it if you're paying attention to it. And, and again, with your manifestations and your cycle and how you feel and your energy, all of that stuff, very important, very important. Okay, we're gonna get another one I'm hearing. Whoa, here, <laughs> here we are. Nurture with Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So again, the theme of children coming up also came up in the fire signs um, with indigo children with Archangel Metatron. It was um, you know, pay attention to those those children who are extra empathic and and all that. And here we have another one with children. And I really think that this is not only with children that we have in our lives or can come into our lives or us to be connected to, but our inner child and how we we need to to nurture our own. That says here, nurture a child and nurture your own inner child. So again, with this whole thing. Um, memories from the past, from, from childhood possibly being a thing, um, just needing to connect some dots there for releasement. So again, Archangel Gabriel talking about children. This could also mean um, your, your own children getting more... Um, aware of things and really needing to, to parent from a place of a, from a spiritual place, from an enlightened place. Um, and that means a lot of listening to our children and, and accepting who and what they are and where they're, where they are, no matter their age and really empowering them to grow and nurturing what is their natural vibe, what, what are their natural vibes and, and to really um, inspire them to create. I'm hearing this creating also with children or for children, I'm hearing that as well. So if anybody has um special creations that they're thinking about doing for children or to help children through being sensitive being empathic that sort of thing um anything like that that also could be coming those that could be part of the epiphany thing that maybe there's things there like oh i want to help children but you don't know how or or whatever that that could be coming and remember again you healing you healing your inner child working with your inner child that just sends a vibe out to everybody else to do the same thing so that is really really important i love that we got this card so moon cycles with haniel Paying attention to moon cycles, water signs, very important. And nurture, nurture yourself, self-care. Um, taking more baths if you can, or at least soaking your feet. Um, using water, being in water. This is important for everybody, not just fire signs, of course. Um, but especially for water signs, uh, it's a big deal. <laughs> it's a very big deal. The water element in your life is a really big deal. Another thing you can do to really help with the energy um, in your home is just get big containers or vases of, um, they don't have to be anything major or special. Go to your thrift store, they're $2, $3 a buck and just get different containers or bowls, vases that you can fill with water and have them around your home. Just being around the element of water. I have several of them um, and cycle through that water. You can also add food coloring or watercolor paints to, to change the color of the water. So you can just have vases of different colored water. I have some videos of of doing that on my old YouTube channel. 
Um, so, so even, you know, anything playing with water, having water around, being in water, of course, meditating in water is the best. Um, so make yourself a nice hot bath with essential oils and salts and taking your crystals that can be in water and, um, meditate in water. That is definitely, definitely a great way to nurture yourself. Um, you can just put on some healing frequency music or actually do a guided meditation. Um, but I highly, highly recommend that if anything, that's the last thing coming through that is really going to help all of this. So the more you can be in water, take baths, take long showers, soak in water, it's definitely the way to go. Um, again, for everybody, but definitely for you water signs. And guess what? We're done here. We're done with this reading. So there's going to be a lot of movement, a lot of change. Um, it is divinely guided. A lot of abundance, um, epiphanies and transitions with people in your life, that sort of thing. Remember, detox your friendships. Think about what needs to change. Really, I think I'm getting a lot of There's, there's going to be people who are like, yeah, I, this has been a thing coming. Detox of friendships, do cord cutting, move away, change jobs, break up the relationship, um, leave the book club, whatever the case may be, but there's going, there needs to be that separation. Again, if there's already been the separation and it's still, and it's feeling like, oh, I'm lonely or nothing's, or I still kind of feel the same, or did I, you know, I moved, but I don't feel like I moved or any of that kind of stuff. Just allow for these energies to pass through, especially, you know, after the, tw the 28th with the full moon, um, there's going to be this forward movement with this stuff, but you have to do your part too. So let's not forget about that. It's about your intent and what you're doing. Um, with yourself. Okay. So thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope this resonated with you. Remember to check out the first video and um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Of course, this is my second YouTube channel that I'm really trying to, to get going here. I'm definitely going to be posting more often. So I hope you enjoy this video and whatever is left to come here. We're definitely getting into more. We have two more videos. So the next one is going to be um, Earth. So the Earth signs are up next and that will be dropping very shortly, you guys. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you soon. Bye for now.